Okay, so last day we ended up being able to get that ladder up and today we are going to start painting all the ends of the rafters and the subfascia so we can start getting that installed. Yeah, so we're going to be painting those ends of the all the trusses, the rafters, everything. And as tedious as it is and time consuming as it is, it, it promotes longevity of the wood and whatnot. Especially on this side because not only is this side going to be capturing all the roof, all the water from the shipping container, but it's also capturing the water from that runs off of the center section too. So just these little details, they all add up. So once all these things are painted, we can begin installing the subfascia. And once that's done, we can start installing the roof deck. Can't wait for that. Yeah, let's get going. Bear. Can you bring us to dad, please? He's over there. Over there. Come here, bear, bear. Can you bring that to me? Bear, go. Bring he it needs here. it. Good uh, boy. boy. <laughs> Ever since last time, now he has to help with like every board that we move, but he doesn't know when to let go. He just starts playing tug of war. <laughs> Well, looks like baby donkey got in the paint. <laughs> Please look how fluffy. Here. Yeah. You love to be pet. But you got paint all over your face now. Were you curious what Spencer was doing? Spencer walks away for like one second and you just got into all kinds of trouble, huh? Come here, see I'm your friend. I wish I had some waffles for you, but we're fresh out, homie. All right, so we cut all the ends of the trusses and rafters and we've already painted them. So now we're ready to install our subfascia. Subfascia is looking so good. So good. <laughs> we still have a couple more spots to add the subfascia in. Just this small piece over here next to the front door and then one also on the other side. But before we start installing these pieces of the subfascia, we're gonna actually start painting the fascia boards so those can begin drying before we start installing this. So let's get going. Donkey will not stop coming up and trying to rub against our painted facial. <laughs> Come here. You gotta follow me, homie. We're going this way. Come on. Come on. I said action. Ladybug attack. <laughs> Spencer's 
it? Let's see the piece you just cut for this. I must spot. have grabbed the wrong piece. No, put it up real quick. I oh, want to yeah, see. Oh yeah, it's over there. I see it. Can I see it? No. Put it up real quick. I just want to see. I grabbed the wrong piece. Let's see the piece you cut specifically. <laughs> The subfascia is complete and all the paint is dry, so it's time to install the fascia. It's raining. It's really light, but it's so it gets so slippery up there on top of the containers. It's just it's dangerous, honestly. So yeah, and also we don't want it to ruin our camera. Yeah, <laughs> that would not be good. But it's looking really good so far. We got the one end piece of fascia up there. Looks like it's really starting to come together. All right, it stopped. So let's try this again. Face you done? No, it's done. It's done. Alright, so now that we have the entire shipping container roof framed, we're going to begin laying the roof deck. Yeah, so we originally were going to just uh, keep it simple and do tar paper and then just lay the roof on top of that. Well, after some further digging for rainwater harvesting, for drinking purposes, you don't want to use anything uh, organic based, so tar paper, shingles, all any anything like that. So we're going to just use the zip system again because it's a water barrier and your OSB all built into one. So we're just going to do that and pretty much build it just like we did the center section. We were pricing out to do the peel and stick again but it's just, it's, it's so expensive and we have so much more square footage to do over both containers and whatnot. So we, uh, we're just going to stick with the zip system, not only because it's cheaper, much cheaper, but also we can get it here locally versus we would have to wait week to two weeks in order to get the peel and stick and then we could start on the roof. So and something else with the zip system is there is a warranty on it so that's obviously an added incentive as opposed to just doing the plywood and tar paper so this is what we've decided to use so hopefully we can get that up there
sky looks so cool right now. I read that in my construction book I'm reading. Oh. Can you not make that face? Yeah. <laughs> I was not expecting it to get me. Oh my God. Uh. When a problem comes along, you must zip it. When a problem comes along, you must zip it. Oh, zip it. In the shape. It's not too late.